in this video, you're gonna see this area go from that to this. I've ever seen at a compound before. So, a few months ago, we started the process of taking down the big old tower we had in the background, move everything down here, because that was leading into the trick jump over there. It didn't really line up well. It wasn't fun to ride, and we had to hike the whole uh, freaking hill to just ride it. And I love the idea of having all starts together. So where I'm standing right now is the start for the mid set. And right here is the start for the small set. And then you walk up there to ride that humongous tower that we just built. And also, every time I showed up to a contest, we get to ride all these big step downs. And we never really spun them, we didn't flip them, we didn't do any combos on them. And you just had to figure it out while you were there and just put time into the practice and learn stuff there. And it was way, way scarier. So. I wanted to create the perfect training facility here at home, just a few minutes from my house. The idea by building this roll-in step down was that basically just took Crankworks in Rotorua, New Zealand, one of the biggest contests of the year we have. I just wanted to minimize that a little bit. I didn't want it as big because if I practice on those big things and go down, uh, we're gonna have different discussions than just walking up again and trying it again. We're probably gonna be hauling my ass to the hospital or something. But I've filmed everything from the start to the finish and having a jam on it. So this video is gonna be action-packed. Just We started a few months ago by, by just building up the structure of the whole thing. So day one of building the massive step down tower is officially over. Uh, I just got way too excited because I had so many amazing friends that came out to help. Uh, it was a bunch of old dudes, a bunch of young dudes and just a mix of awesome people that came out to help out build this massive thing. Uh, we got so much done in one day and that's just because everyone was stoked, everyone was helping out, everyone was just, uh, yeah, everyone was just muscling through everything together and they made it a whole lot easier and we got so much done just because of that. So thanks a lot for everyone that came out to help. I'm just so appreciative about everyone that came out. But anyways, uh, this is gonna be like the platform where you stand and then you're gonna roll down and then yeah, a kicker somewhere. And we don't know about the transition that goes in there and there yet. We're gonna lengthen those poles out there so the gap is not massive. The gap is like currently like six and a half meters and I feel like that's a bit much for this step down tower. So we're gonna go buy some more wood tomorrow so we can make them a bit longer. Put a kicker on top, put all the like flooring down, do a bit of mere, like more beautiful looking crosses and stuff. It looks so amazing. I mean, still going into the mid set, we're gonna go through the whole thing and then we're gonna make a portal over there so you can run into the small line as well. Everything is just gonna be amazing. But yeah, all of this in one day, in the morning when we got here, uh, it was just nothing. We were like, where are we gonna start? How are we gonna build this? Sure, it's actually very sturdy. And it's not because of me, because you know, when I'm building stuff, I just build and 
it, if it works it works if not someone has to change it but we had a lot of uh, smart guys here today and everything is very sturdy already and imagine when everything comes together all the like yeah flooring and everything it's just gonna be amazing so yeah i guess this is day one and yeah the idea was to go down the day after and uh yeah it didn't really work out that well because i got sick and i got sick again and sick again and sick again i've been sick pretty much the whole summer and i haven't been able to ride here much every time i got well i had to like prepare myself for the next contest and just work myself into shape again and uh, just ride 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 practice 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 it wasn't until three weeks ago where i decided we're gonna host a jam here at the compound and because that's gonna make us really motivated and it's gonna push put some pressure on us to finish up this whole structure and i tell you that i worked every single day two weeks straight just from like morning to dark and just tried to finish up all of this and i couldn't have done it without all of my friends that helped me out uh, we had a big squad like mons andreas thomas jens like there's too many names to mention but thanks a lot for everyone that came out we have such a great community here it's growing by the day we have so many more riders now nowadays and so many more involved riders with the building and just hanging out and helping with stuff so that's really really amazing our community is growing and i absolutely love it so yeah the build was really really successful in the end we had to like knock our heads together and figure out some things we have to move that landing once with a big digger to make it closer we had to extend that because i made the gap way too big to begin with and it wasn't enough speed Some of you might wonder now what the hell I'm doing, but this is actually quite a smart system that I came up with myself. Um, I'm starting off by just building a 90 degree L like that, putting on the radius on the other side. Then I put on these uh, boards here on the side and I cut out all the angles to the 90 degree Ls. So I have everything of that ready and then just drawing with the pencil then cutting it out. It's very, very simple and easy. Uh, and if you're doing it by yourself like I'm doing today, then this is a very, very efficient way to do it quick. So here we got all the angled boards up and up and down and now I'm just gonna do two more L's and then I'm gonna throw them on and then we're gonna start cutting out radius. Just use like a, a bit of a rope and a pen and then you should be fine. just like that we have a radius that goes all the way with a super clear invisible line and uh, so yeah I have no I've never built a step down before hopefully the radius is uh, dialed in and easy as all that we got all transitions made and everyone is lining up perfectly with each other all of them turned out really really great and dialed in so yeah, that's basically it for the backyard uh, carpenting. We're gonna move back to the compound now and try to mount these onto the new tower and see if they fit at all or not. <laughs> Also, this is the finished product of uh, changing out the little banana feature that we had into the mid-set. Uh, 
I don't know why, but we were just on our rolls. We started rebuilding everything and this looks way better. It feels better, it rolls better. Me and Marcus did it in what, 20 minutes or something? Oh, yeah, there. Oh, there. No. Men av alla bläder som är så ruttna så måste den där sitta. All right, amongst all the chaos of building this massive tower, we figured that we need to change this one out because it looks absolutely horrible and the rest of the compound, yeah, you can find a bit of everything down there, but the rest of the compound looks absolutely mint right now. So we're gonna just put it the same way but make it look a lot more sturdy and a lot more dialed in. Oh. This is another thing that we had to like work with in the end, like we had to just add it the last day. It's a big pillar and cemented it into the ground uh, that goes up to the tower. To make it a bit more sturdy in that way, it's not that it wasn't sturdy, it was just for extra precautions. I just wanted it to be better than good. But everything worked out really well in the end and uh, we just finished the build the day before the jam was supposed to happen. And yeah, this is the day when we were testing it. Uh, ever since I got home from District Ride, we put pretty much just non-stop two weeks heavy work until dark every single day. And now we're here. We've finished up all the finishing touches. The boys are up on the start. We're gonna try it for the first time. Hopefully I don't land fully flat or in the middle. Hopefully I land somewhat good. We'll see. Oh, oh, all of this freaking work and it actually worked I was actually not a bit unsure if it would work at all but all in all this shit works I'm a carpenter brain scientist yeah. Oj, 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 Bob the Builder, Max. It's just more happy now after everything working out than landing a contest run almost. Nah, not really, but I'm gonna say that so the video gets more interesting because we just built a freaking hunting tower and ride our bikes down it so it's not really that smart what we're doing so I'm gonna do a 360 down now Yeah, after being extremely relieved after testing it and everything worked out, we could even start spinning it the first session after a few jumps. We hosted a jam the day after. My idea was to just have a session, keep it relaxed for all the kids and just flip burgers, have a good time, not put so much contest pressure on the kids. Just collect all the people, have a jam, just have a good time.
Right. So the whole idea of uh, stressing us uh, ourselves to finish up this build with the step down tower <laughs> was to have a bit of a jam. Yesterday was the first day we actually tested the step down for the first time and today we have gathered all the boys from Sweden like the school and we have Tobbe here, Tobias Jangmud, good old uh, legend on the channel that yeah. always eats shit. He wants me to say that you guys should go check out his channel because he's gonna try to get into X Games with pit bikes because exactly. he's literally the best pit bike rider I've ever seen in my yeah. whole life. We're gonna flip some burgers, we're gonna play music and I got some prices from my sponsors and from myself to all the boys down here. Uh, I'm just gonna have a couple categories, don't put too much contest pressure on the boys. Just have a good time, ride bikes and enjoy life a little bit. The compound is finally finished. I like enjoying life. <laughs> All the kids are starting to jump. We had like a big squad of like five people up there and they were all scared of going, but managed to just make them go, if we say like that. <laughs> hey, what's up? Welcome to Max Vlog, episode good. We're all here with this idiot. I should eat the soup there. Have you fallen yet? Follow. Subscribe, like, comment. Have you done it yet? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, I built a new bike yesterday and Let's say I didn't really check if it was... Well, it, speaking of building a new bike, you guys are gonna witness this bike being built and it was literally the worst thing I've ever done in my whole life. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. I don't know what we're gonna witness now, but he said he's gonna land on his neck. We will see what happens. It's just hard to film events, especially when you're trying to host your own one. I keep forgetting about the video, I keep forgetting about that, 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 and this and that. But uh, we have like 30 minutes left of uh, a session and all the boys are gathering and just having a good time, trying to get some sand on, because in 30 minutes we're going to have a bit of a prize giving and give out some prizes for all the heroes of today. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do a couple tricks, because I've been so tired from all the building lately, so I've been like all day long but I'm gonna do a power 30 minutes
Ja, Philip! Anton Hinder. Han är inte ställd på att kolla. Erik. Sitta direkt ut. Stora på för dem. That was a huge success. I absolutely love all the people in Sweden that comes out to ride and support our thing. Hopefully in the future we're gonna host bigger stuff here. This was a really, really just good personal goal for me to get like just get everything together in time, uh, figure things out, learn how to build stuff and just collect a lot of experience for the future. Uh, thanks a million for all the people that came out this weekend. Thanks a million for all the boys that helped me build all of this and everyone that just gave us a helping hand. It, it's much appreciated. Thanks a lot for that. I love you guys. Subscribe, like, and then we're gonna keep on evolving this place. I have a new bike build video that comes out on my way to Australia. I'm flying to Australia tomorrow, so uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. We have a couple trips lined up, so the channel's gonna pop off a little bit more again. So uh, thank you guys for your continued support. Peace.